Lorsqu'on veut construire une centrale hydroélectrique, euh, en fait, on a deux points a, importants à, à déterminer. Hydraulic power, ensuite, power plant, there are two things that you need to determine premier, because everything derives la, from there. The first thing we need to know is the head. Lorsqu'on arrive au bord d'une d'une rivière, ce qui est important, c'est de Near voir river, quel est le dénivelé entre les deux. see what the dropping level will be between the two different locations on the left hand side drawing you see a dam. Beaucoup plus bas une centrale et donc entre ces Much lower there is a power plant and between the two uh, natural locations chute, there is a head a dropping qui, level qui, qui en compte, which needs to be en taken fait, into consideration because it will uh, determine la plus importante sur uh, la puissance qui va être the power la developed by the hydraulic power plant le, le partie, le the dénivelé. second thing we need to Autant know is the equipment flow once the head has been chosen Autant it is fixed it will never uh, change but the equipment donc, flow en fait, may change We use what we call the flow duration curve, or FDC, and the FDC in a given location over 365 days a year on the horizontal axis. In vertical, in the vertical axis, we have the average of flow during a given day, and over time, it is possible to see the value of the average flow. For instance, here, a a prime is the minimum flow, 365 days a year. We know that at least we will have this much flow. Not much. And on the left-hand side of the curve, we have maximum flow, the line between D and D prime. This is the maximum flow that can only be achieved a few days a year. So before the uh, power plant is designed, it is necessary to define the best technical economic value. And the flow we're interested in is the average uh, annual flow, BB prime, the characteristic uh, Donc là, si on dit, average bah, flow six months per year. So if we have this type of flow six months a year, at least this will be the figure I will Et rely donc, on euh, to design the power plant. Euh, Once de chute que va the H head ce débit que va H, Q, has been determined as well as the flow Q, it is une, relatively easy. Qui, well, qui relatively été, easy because the formula De, de de was extracted from numerous de theories de and uh, calculations, uh, including Bernoulli's uh, theory, an engineer from the 1600. We see that the maximum uh, gross power equals the head and the expressed flow multiplied by uh, gravity acceleration. 981. So once we have the head, we determine the flow based on the uh, FDC and we get the power. For a small flow, we have a small power, but almost every day of the year. Big flow, big power, but only a few days in the year. And next, we have to make a technical economic calculation. Intuitively, big flows require bigger investments than small flows. La puissance réelle de l'aménagement ensuite euh, the real power of the uh, puissance, uh, plant brute, appelle aussi we calculate how to uh, change the Donc, uh, départ, rough the, the, the gross power or the wild power in the electrical power tubes, so we have this uh, gross power we feed it through tubes into the turbine and the passage through the pipelines is where the loss is maximum hydraulic yield will be between 75 and 85 percent the losses are due to uh, the water running uh, through the pipes uh, there is friction between the water and the pipes and power is lost and also there are losses uh, when the water goes uh, through uh, the particular shape of the type, the pipe. When water reaches the turbine, the, the hydraulic power will be turned into a mechanical power, and yield is uh, quite high. Uh, we have up to 98% of turbine yield nowadays. The mechanical power drives an electric generator. Electrical power will be produced. Nowadays, electric generators uh, have very high yields, 98% again. Most of the time, the voltage generated by the alternators or the generators 
is of relatively low value and before we can inject it into the grid we need to increase it with an electrical transformer. Voltage is increased with the transformer and again transformers have a very high yield, 98%. So if we uh, calculate the yield we reach a yield of 8. So the electrical power of a hydroelectrical power plant, the power generated and injected into the grid is approximately 8 multiplied multiplied by the flow, multiplied by the head. Depending on the head, different types of power plants will be installed. There are low head hydraulic power plants when the head is less than 30 meters. Here we have an example of a dam on the Rhine River 20 meters of head, but with a big flow. Power is proportionate mainly to the very, very high flow. Next, we have uh, intermediate head, when the head is between 30 and 300 meters. In order to achieve the same power, there could be uh, average uh, flow and uh, head values. And high head power plants are built when the head is in excess of 300 meters. Here we have Pranier's power plant in the the uh, Pyrenean Mountains, almost 1,200 meters of head. You can see the uh, penstock pipe coming from the top of the mountain right into the power plant. It is important to know the categories because the equipment differs enormously between the different types of uh, heads. Another classification depends on the volume of water held behind the dam. If the volume is limited, versus the flow, we talk about a run-of-the-river hydro electric plant. All the flow is turbined and continues on its way down the river. It is impossible to uh, use this energy when we want it. It is called the unavoidable energy. But it is also possible to uh, use relatively small volumes but slightly higher volumes than the run of the river system. Sometimes when no energy is needed, the reservoir will be allowed to fill behind the dam and a few hours later or a few days later, no more than a few days, the turbines will be uh, driven at a higher speed than the normal flow in order to release energy. So the reservoir level will decrease when the turbines are used and will increase when the uh, uh, power plant is stopped. And we have a different tidal level in the reservoir. The last example are lake power plants because it is possible to uh, retain several million cubic meters of water behind the dam, especially when the uh, mountain snow melts. We have uh, such uh, like lake plants in the Pyrenean Mountains in the uh, Alps, and here the quantity of energy stored is huge. It can be then used and injected into the electric grid when there is peak consumption.